Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing on Eco Batteries 51 volt, 105 amp hour battery. We will be discussing how the batteries ship, the batteries themselves, and the battery specs. We will talk about the card specific installation bundles offered by Eco, and lastly, we will briefly discuss uh, how these batteries mount in your card. These batteries will ship freight and they come in uh, hazmat labeled boxes. And this is the battery box here. And you will also receive an installation bundle box and they will come on a pallet. So let's go ahead and get these battery boxes open and get everything laid out. All right, once you get your battery box off your pallet, go ahead and open it up and you will find a thick piece of styrofoam here on the top to protect the battery. The battery is in a nice heavy duty our cardboard box here so once you remove the styrofoam off the top you will find that the battery is in a plastic bag which is nice keep any water off of it from shipping so go ahead and open that up and get your battery out once you get your battery out of the box and opened up uh, you're going to receive one of these two batteries this battery the square one is known as the through hole and the reason why is because it has a through hole, which is uh, unique to Eco. Eco designed this battery case. And I'll, I'll discuss mounting this battery here in a minute using the center hole. And this battery is typically going to be for club car models. And if you have a TXT or some of the other style carts that have a metal uh, frame battery tray, uh, you will receive the skinny and this is the same battery as a through hole it's just uh, rectangular so it's going to be long and skinny and it's going to fit down in the place of three lead acid batteries both batteries come in a powder coated steel shell the skinny is ip67 rated and the through hole is ip65 rated both batteries have handles on the top you have your positive, negative post. This is your on off switch for turning on and off the battery. And here is your communication port. It is for your voltage meter and uh, wiring harness. Each battery comes with M8 bolts for your terminals and also comes with terminal protectors here. And that's gonna help prevent any arcing across the terminals. And the center hole comes with a bracket for the top and it's a perfect fit and this is how you're gonna mount the, uh, the battery down to the tray and I'll discuss that at the end of the video. Both batteries have a 600 amp peak output for three seconds, 30 amps for 10 seconds and the continuous amp draw max is 175 amps. All right, these batteries weigh nearly the same. The through hole is 94 pounds and the skinny is 102 pounds. This battery will charge up to about 58 volts. And once you take it off the charger, it will fall down to its resting voltage, a low 53 volt. And you'll primarily use this battery from 53, 53.2 volts down to, uh, I wouldn't let it, I try not to let mine get past uh, 48 volts before I hook it up and max charge it. The dimensions of the skinny battery is 22 inches long by 9.75 inches wide and 10.43 inches high. The dimensions of the through hole are 13.14 inches long by 12.24 inches wide and 10.15 inches tall. Both batteries are 5,376 watt hours. And another great feature about these batteries is that they are CAN bus and Bluetooth enabled. And in regards to the Bluetooth, uh, Eco does have a mobile app coming out and I've seen the app, it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully by the time this video comes out, the app will be available to the Eco customers. 
In regards to the safety features of this battery, it has pack over voltage protection, it has cell configuration protection, pack under voltage protection, cell under voltage protection, BMS over temp, short circuit overcurrent, and short circuit and overcurrent protections. The safety features are built in to the battery management system and designed to protect the battery and ensure safe usage. Also, both of these batteries come with Eco's eight year manufacturer's warranty. The first three years is at 100% and the next five years is prorated. And you can visit ecobattery.com and there's a, uh, a, you know, it goes into detail about the prorated warranty. Okay, so I've gone ahead and kind of laid out the installation bundle, how it would be hooked up in the cart. And now we'll discuss everything that comes in the bundle. And first of all, you have your dash mounted voltage meter. It is a very nice voltage meter. It shows voltage under load. It shows usable capacity. And the bottom number is going to be the amount of amps you're pulling from the battery as you're using the cart. Eco supplies the mounting bracket and hardware for the voltage meter and also the wiring harness, which is long enough to run up to your dash, even in a six seater. And this harness runs to the communication port on the battery. And you'll see that there are two ports here, CAN bus ports. And uh, right now they're not gonna be used, but maybe in the future, there'll be a need for these, but don't worry about those for right now. And this harness will plug into the back of the voltage meter. There are two wiring harnesses. There is a six pin and a four pin, and you're not gonna get those backwards. They only fit one way. Next, we'll talk about the onboard charger. The charger does come with a user manual and it is a 15 amp charger. It utilizes Ego's Quick Connect and it's a very secure weatherproof connection here. And that will connect to your charge receptacle replacement, which has a 120 volt male plug. And this is cart specific. Ego is one of the only brands that offers cart specific receptacle replacements. This is for a TXT. The holes are perfect. You're not gonna have to drill anything into your cart. You just drill those old rivets out and replace uh, with the nut and bolt provided uh, with the charge receptacle. And this is how you're gonna charge your battery. And also please make sure you use a heavy duty extension cord, something that can handle at least 15 amps. And so this is your charger input wire and your charger output wire is going to run directly to your uh, negative and positive posts on your battery. The last thing we're gonna discuss is the 12 volt reducer. This is a very nice 12 volt reducer. It is 30 amp. It gives you uh, a little bit of extra information so you're not gonna hook it up wrong. Uh, just follow this little guide here. But essentially, you're gonna have your two input wires, which is the yellow and black. They're gonna go, that's your 48 volt input. And they're gonna run directly to your battery terminals. And then you have your 12 volt output, which is gonna be the thicker red and black wires. This is gonna to run to your 12 volt accessories or to a fuse block if you have multiple accessories. And the last wire we'll talk about is the long orange. And the reason why it's long is uh, so you can run it up to the dash and you would wanna hook this to the cold side of your key switch. That way when you turn your key switch on, the 12 volt reducer is activated and you know, vice versa when you cut it off. The 12 volt reducer comes with inline fuses. So this would be your basic TXT installation bundle. And you know, uh, pretty much the same thing over here on the through hole. But um, the only thing that might be different is the charge receptacle. This would be the club car precedent charge receptacle, but essentially everything else is gonna be the same. Now we're gonna discuss mounting these batteries and we'll discuss the through hole first. And this battery was designed for primarily for club cars. And they make a special bracket for the DS that's gonna utilize the through hole, but you know, it's gonna go in a lot of precedents as well. And the, they really designed this for the precedent to make it super simple. Actually the owner's wife uh, was the one who came up with the idea for the center hole, uh, which is kind of a funny story, but uh, yeah. Uh, basically, you're going to use your existing hold down bar 
that came out of the, uh, that was holding down your lead acid batteries. And this one's in terrible shape. It's just one I had sitting around the shop. Probably gonna have to throw it out. But um, yeah, you're just gonna put your battery in place down in the battery tray and you're gonna run this down through the center. It's gonna grab onto the bar that runs underneath the battery tray. It's gonna sit down a little farther. I have this sitting on a flat table, but um, you know, it's gonna sit down in there a little bit deeper, but you'll take the supplied bracket. You will uh, set that in place. And then with your existing bracket and water, I'm sorry, with your existing nut and washer, you'll tighten that down. Uh, like I said, this will sit down farther and it will be very, very secure down in the battery tray. And yeah, I feel like you can almost lift the whole cart up just by grabbing the handles when this thing's, uh, you know, secured down to the battery tray. Now we'll discuss mounting the 105 amp hour skinny. And this battery was designed to fit in the place of three lead acid batteries and you'll utilize the mounting holes built into the shell of the battery to mount it down to the battery tray. So this is the Eco battery tray replacement. And if your battery tray is in bad shape, uh, I highly recommend getting Eco's. It's powder coated steel and all of the holes are pre-drilled to make installation just super easy. They coincide with the holes in the batteries. It fits the 105. 51 volt 105, it fits the 51 volt 72, and it also fits the 70 volt 105. But it is the same shape as an EasyGo TXT. This would be the front, this would be the back. There, it does come with struts, the vertical struts here. Um, it does not have the center ridge that you would see in a TXT. This battery is gonna fit down in there. I'll show you that here in a second. But if you do have and wanna use the stock tray, I highly recommend cleaning it up first, wire brushing it, treating it with Rust-Oleum, and then dropping the battery in. And this battery will fit in without any modification. And uh, you, you know, it does, uh, one of these holes match up here in the middle with holes that are in the existing TXT frame. But I always drill uh, the two side holes out in my TXTs just for some extra stability uh, when mounting this battery. Here's a shot of the skinny battery sitting in the tray replacement. And the there are two holes on each side that match up. So you're not gonna need to drill anything out. You can just nut and bolt that straight down to the battery tray and it is very secure. And lastly, uh, another great feature of this replacement battery tray is the fact that it comes with a plastic cover uh, that you will put down underneath the battery and this prevents any splash up waters puddles anything coming up from the bottom and also you can mount your uh, voltage reducer and charger here if you'd like as well and it's going to be pretty protected all right guys that's it for eco's 51 volt 105 amp hour lithium golf cart battery unboxing of the battery and the installation bundle. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to call us during business hours and uh, you can ask for me directly and I can answer any questions you may have. We do have these batteries available in store and through our website. So if you'd like to order, uh, just please visit the link in the description or give us a call. Our number's in the description of the video as well. And we can assist you with the purchasing process of one of these batteries. We appreciate you watching, and uh, yeah, if you get a chance, hit that subscribe button to get more videos from us. We have videos coming out, more unboxing videos, more installation videos on lithium batteries and different applications, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys.